Now you wait. Sassanai is up. How you doing? We are back with Anubis from uh, MRC, and we've got uh, a few things done. We've started our painting process. Um, we'll talk about quickly each one. Uh, we the first thing I did was get this a little plaque made. It's been printed on on photographic paper, and I did it in Paint Shop Pro. I just took uh, elements of the uh, movie poster, shrank it down, added my Anubis, uh, which is a font called Papyrus. I use that same font in my videos for this and made me a little nameplate. So that's the first thing. And when they were ready for it, I'll trim it up, hit it with a clear lacquer to seal the ink in so it never smudges or anything. And then uh, we'll glue this on using white glue. And that'll be done. All right, so the next thing I painted was, I guess, this is like a loincloth kind of deal. And we painted them uh, it's a color called aqua. It's an old folk art color. It's, uh, this is what I used right here. It's called Artist Pigments. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. I've had this for a while. But we painted it, the aqua. I took that same color and added some white to it to make a highlight uh, color. And um, I went over it with that. And then I took some, uh, well each coat I sealed, so it was the aqua, then a coat of uh, varnished satin, and then the highlights, and then the coat of varnished satin, and then I took some ink, and I might change this, because I used a, a ink called a Dark Tone, which I think is a little too dark, and went over it to bring out the folds and the fabric and stuff, but I think it's a little too dark. So, I don't know if I'll use this again on his body. I might use, I have an ink called the Soft uh, Tone, and I might use that. I think this is a little too strong. But uh, I'm going to leave this because it's this one cloth and it would pick up the dirt more than the rest of them being hanging down so low. So, I'm just going to leave it. But uh, after we've got the ink, the ink wash on, I silver it again with satin. And then <clears throat> I took my Molotow chrome pen and colored in the uh, jewelry here on this fabric and then when the uh, Molotow was dry and went back with uh, to me a clear yellow and went over those to give them more of a gold metallic uh, kind of look uh, then when it was all said and done I went over the entire thing with flat uh, flat varnish or flat polyurethane to seal everything up so we've got uh, that done, except for these, I didn't go over these with the flax. I wanted them to remain shiny and glossy like metal. <clears throat> um, those uh, are just cleared with the satin, and that's it, just a light coat of satin. Uh, so that's these two pieces. And then I came over and did this piece, which I think is like a weapon. I'm, I'm not too sure what it is. I don't remember in the movie. But uh, this has been painted black, uh, Delta Ceramco, plain old black. Then it was dry brushed with Anita's bronze, a metallic bronze. And then uh, to get that uh, green aged look, because I have some really good shots of the movie props, really close ups, and they had a lot of green on them, a lot more than what I thought they had. But to get that green aged, uh, you know how when copper or bronze ages, you start getting that green crust. Uh, for that, I use this metallic, um, it's called emerald green by Anita's and just you know varied in different areas with that green to get that uh, age look so we've got that done and then when that was all said and done I went over it with satin uh, urethane satin to seal everything up so it doesn't come off so that's uh, the piece here and it goes on his side and there's the back of it so that was the next thing I painted and then I went to the head piece, uh, the little ornaments on the side of his head. Uh, those have been painted uh, the same way. 
uh, everything was painted black first and then a dry brushing of bronze and for this I'm using my little small flat square brush which makes dry brushing much easier you can use a round brush uh, but for me it's easier with a flat brush uh, to dry brush something um, so uh, I've been using that flat brush to dry brush the bronze uh, the jewel here uh, right here uh, was done with a Molotov chrome pen and used to me a clear blue over that to represent the jewel and then these strips of uh, I think they're like leather uh, they look like leather more than they do cloth uh, that was painted with the aqua again and then the orange is a craft smart color uh, called burnt orange uh, that they've been painted with uh, both front and back um, and then sealed with satin polyurethane satin and, and here's both of the pieces uh, together that we have to glue on the headpiece here so we've got that uh, done and the only thing I have to do here is a uh, I put some green on them, but it's not enough. After looking at pictures again, uh, they had a lot more green on them. Uh, they were a lot more weathered. So I need to add some more green on that, which I'll do here uh, pretty soon. So we've got that painted. And then the last thing I painted was his staff or his weapon. Um, we've got, and it was done the same way. Uh, if you recall, we've uh, cut the staff. <coughs> and uh, we'll put it on uh, when we're done with the figure but uh, it's been painted black and then gone over with a coat of uh, or with a dry brushing of bronze and then uh, gone over with a satin polyurethane or satin varnish <coughs> to seal everything up and this is the top of it uh, where the weapon opens up and shoots out its uh, uh, ray or whatever it shot out and then the bottom of the uh, staff slash weapon uh, was done the same way. Now for the jewel here, for this purple, um, uh, here and here, uh, I used, uh, what I did was I painted those areas first with the Molotov chrome marker pen. And then when the uh, chrome was dry, I went back over that with uh, this folk art color, amethyst. I can't talk today. But anyway, it's done with this purple color. Um, so we've got uh, that on there and, I, and it's a little lighter than what I wanted it's, open, it's darker in the bottle uh, so I might, I, know, I might go over it a couple more times to get it darkened up a little bit I should add a little bit of black to it darken it up but I might just leave it too I think it's good enough but uh, we've got that done and then when all that was done it's been sealed with the polyurethane satin or satin varnish so uh, we've got that done so the next piece I'm going to do is the headpiece. We've got the uh, filler on the back of his neck here. We've got all that cleaned up. Uh, it, there's a little bit of a seam here below the ears, but after I put this on, I don't think you're going to see that. Uh, maybe you will. So I still need to do a little touching up uh, there. It goes like this. But. Uh, we got a little touching up to do right here below the ear on this side and right here below the ear on this side that I need to do. And then this will be ready for paint. And we're back and we have his head painted black. And I'll show you. If you thin your craft acrylics, not only does it lay flat, but it doesn't hide any detailing. And there's a lot of detailing on this headpiece. A lot of engraving. So you can kind of see that. But we've got it painted black I and mean, we were careful around the eyes. We got the eyes all painted black around the eyes. So our next step is I'm going to hit it with a coat of satin varnish or satin polyurethane. Everybody calls it something different. And the reason why I'm doing this is because one, I want to seal the black. And two, uh, you know, I didn't prime this. And uh, if you don't... Uh, prime well uh, craft acrylic will craft acrylics will come off of uh, can't even say it will come off your plastic uh, pretty easy uh, doesn't take much to scratch it off so uh, by putting this satin varnish or satin polyurethane over this it just makes it a little bit more durable and oh I missed a spot there with the black paint and because 
we're going to be dry brushing uh, it helps with the dry brushing as far as uh, uh, a nice smooth surface to get your brush to go across and I'm going to have to touch that up with some black paint so that's why we're using satin I mean I could use a flat but I think satin in this case because we're trying to mimic the look of metal uh, I think is a better choice than a flat uh, varnish um, so I'm just going over this real quick to seal up the paint and I'm going to grab some black here real quick I'm going to touch up that area where I completely missed while well, I have the wet varnish on my brush kind of like the satin paint uh, it'll kind of blend in there and we don't have to worry about it since I already have satin on my brush um, so anyway I, I think it's, it's better to use a satin in this case for our um, uh, sealer so we're just going to take and just as I said go over this real quick um, seal it all up and then when it dries that's when we'll break out the bronze and start uh, hitting this headpiece uh, with a, a coat of bronze getting it all getting it all right pretty